In the spring of 2009, I continued on a journey with Jesus that brought me to San Diego, California. I found myself blessed with a generous host family, the support of a church community, and two wonderful ministries that I was able to pour my heart into, SBPC's Junior High Students and Wildlife, a spinoff of Young Life that focuses on middle school and junior high students. I had everything I needed, yet I had a constant tugging on my heart about what would follow. The following year, I was given the opportunity to design several experiential learning activities for junior high students. As I shared with the students about hunger, AIDS, and sex trafficking, I quickly saw that nudging turn into passion. I was not okay with the fact that over 14,000 children will die from hunger today, or that parents all over the world are selling their own children into the sex trade. I couldn't get Isaiah 117 out of my head. Learn to do right, seek justice, encourage the oppressed, defend the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. God had opened my eyes to a multitude of needs and I was desperate to do something about it. I spent a lot of time reading in the Gospels because Jesus lived a life fueled by a heart for the oppressed. However, I came to realize that Jesus was not only living out his passion, he was radical about it. There was nothing ordinary about his life. When I was young, my favorite song was called A Life Less Ordinary. One line says, I want a life that takes me places different stories and different faces. It's getting tough to tolerate the same routine. I believe that this song describes the life God has created me to live, a life of adventure, seeking to become more like Jesus every day, to travel the world and to serve others every step of the way. This September, I will embark on the world race an 11 month mission trip to 11 different countries. I will learn to live like Jesus as I feed the hungry, care for AIDS orphans, and minister to prostitutes on a daily basis. For one year, my sleeping bag will be my bed, my tent will be my home, and I will carry every possession on my back. On the world race, I will act for God's kingdom around the globe. I am confident that my two years in Solana Beach, California have been necessary preparation, for I have had many opportunities to grow in Christ and develop in leadership. I am thankful for the individuals who have continually offered encouragement as I have discovered my desire to pursue international missions. My name is Jessica Fischbach, and I am learning what it means to live a life less ordinary.